So let's turn to Twitter. Think of it as Twitter 101, a class in all things social media, not just tweeting, but Facebook, blogging, wikis, and the like. It's happening at Boston College, where they're trying to put their finger on this online explosion. I actually just started using Twitter for this class. Initially, I started off with Facebook, so kind of like grew more familiar with it. But uh, Twitter is definitely something that's picking up. I actually didn't have a Twitter until I enrolled in this class. Twitter has grown on me. If you're a parent, this will come as no surprise. Three quarters of teenagers who are online are plugged into social networks. And email? Forget about it. It's definitely not a student-student thing, unless it's so you're contacting someone for like an organizational reason. I prefer Facebook. I think it's the best way to stay in touch with friends. Any questions about the group project? The class teaches what a tweet is better than a blog and why wikis really work. What a wiki does is lets you put that document in one place and then everybody can edit it at the same time. Um, so rather than passing it around, here's a new tool that cuts through all of that. These tools really have the ability to change the way people interact and collaborate with one another. All these projects are going to be a wiki page. So the extent to which you meet face-to-face -face is up to you. See so that face-to-face -face thing? It's over. No, it's not over. <laughs> With support from the National Science Foundation, Gerald Kane is studying the impact and the uses of social media in education and the workplace. One of the companies he is focused on is Sermo, a social network for doctors. We're in fact the largest online physician community. And every day, uh, tens of thousands of physicians log in and share information with one another. Kane says social networks undermine corporate hierarchies, giving employees and customers a soapbox, a virtual unfiltered megaphone to millions. These things are happening whether the organizations and whether the managers like it or not. So many companies have decided it's best to join them, otherwise they're left out of the conversation. Kane hopes to devise computer simulations to help organizations take better advantage of social networking applications. It's inevitable. I mean, it will happen. It's, uh, it's up to the corporations and government agencies to decide if they want to be the leaders of the followers of it. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.